My name is Lydia, aka Jarrell Shorty, and today I'm going to walk you through all the different joint knife sizes and what they're commonly used for. First up, we're going to look at a 3 inch knife. This knife is really handy for small spots that need touch up. If you have dents and dings from trim work, moving into a new house, your kids just banging up your walls, this size is perfect. It also can be used to fill putty holes in trim work. It's perfect around those tight areas in between door jams and angles, under cabinets, sinks, anything where there's plumbing and pipes you're having to work around. This knife is a great size. Next up are the four, five, and six inch joint knives. These knives are commonly interchangeable with each other and it just depends on preference. You can walk onto any job and each pro will be using a different size. It's just what you're comfortable with. All of these knives are typically used for hand taping, wiping behind an automatic taper and wiping down flats and butts. They're also used for picking angles, hand taping angles, screws. You can actually go a four, a five, and a six for your screws so you can keep track of how many coats you've applied. They're using for installing no coat corner bead, 325, straight flex, any kind of tape on, off angle product like that. These are really helpful for those. So you can also use them for patches around light boxes, um, you know, removing wallpaper, scraping down old textures off walls. They're really just a universal knife that you'll always be using and reaching for. So when it comes to the individual sizes between a four, five, and a six, a four is gonna be better if you're just learning. If you're wanting to start with a smaller hand size or a smaller knife size, that would be easier for you to handle. It's also really nice for hand taping angles because you're not putting so much mud that you're gonna to have to be sanding a lot. It's also very nice for screws because you're leaving a smaller area which means less sanding. A five is perfect for angles. I use this all the time for picking angles. It's just a really crisp, sharp knife. It's also very nice for window returns and coating insides of windows, um, things like that. And also screws again and around tub surrounds. Our six inch knife is a little bit bigger so you can get a little more of a cut edge on that. So this one is gonna be great for screws, any kind of floating out of bad angles around boxes, patchwork, larger patch areas where you're needing to cover more and float more out, your six is gonna be your best friend. And again, all of these can be used in conjunction with each other, after each other, and you can increase coat size as you go along. Next up is the eight inch knife. I use this for wiping my tape. We can use it behind an automatic taper or you can use it for hand taping. You can use this for angles, especially if they're really crooked or broken, this can be really nice to float them out. You can use it for wide window liners, tub surrounds, coating corner bead, even installing corner bead. You can also use it for especially hand textures and you know just kind of those larger areas that you need to float out. Also large patches and things like that where six just isn't wide enough and eight can be really handy. Last but not least is our 10 inch joint knife. I would use this for embedding flats and butts, wiping behind an automatic taper, hand taping, hand coating flats, butts, corner bead, tub surrounds. You could even use this on angles if they're very bad or very crooked. This would be perfect for a level five finish. If you're doing some skimming, you can get in there and pull out your angle. It's a great size for large patches, anything that has very humped and you need to go a little bit wider than what you have previously. You can also use it on tub surrounds and floating out any bad areas and even hand texturing. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped explain the many uses of joint knives. If you're interested in seeing how I use these on our jobs on a daily basis, you can check out my Instagram, Drywall Shorty. And to purchase any of the knives shown in this video, check out level5tools.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.